All right, so we're down here at the car wash because you know you got to wash your rig and look after your rig and stuff. So T Bear's just washing the shit out of his truck. It's a really nice night out. I don't know, it's maybe two, three, four, five, eight degrees. Not too sure. Stars are out. Look, you can still see over there. Like right now, no shit, it's midnight, okay? And you can still see the effects of the sun over there. You know, and then in like four hours, that big orange yellow cocksucker will be up in the sky again, just cooking the shit out of things. It was like 22 today. Just awesome. Well, you seen there in that video that I put up yesterday, so. Anyways, I don't think we're going to do too much more filming tonight. The fights weren't too bad, you know. Kind of sucked, but, you know, whatever. That cost check guy's a real goof. Go ahead to see he lost, but. Anyways. See you tomorrow when I turn the camera on again. Hopefully, we're checking out some horde. You guys like my beard? You like my beard? And all you fucking assholes out there that are leaving all these fucking shit comments and you're a deadbeat Logie, you're this and that. You don't know fuck all. So fuck yourself, fuck your mom, fuck your mouth, fuck you. And everybody else that leaves nice comments, I love you guys big times. He's pretty dicked. Right, Tito? Are you pretty dicked? Are you pretty dicked, Tito? He's pretty dicked. I'm down here just at the Hay River. I don't know if I showed you guys this before. You might see it in some of the other footage. There's, there goes a beaver. There's a beaver right there. See him? Right. Right there. Right above my finger. There's a beaver. Oh. Guess he didn't want to be on film. Still kind of see him coming though. Anyway, so all this ice along the side here. It's from when she let go. I got some footage of it on my uh, my good camera. Uh, but I'm not doing any uploading of that stuff while I'm here. Just because A, the internet sucks. B, my laptop sucks. So I'll upload some of that stuff and mash it all up when I get home. There's a beaver. See him right there? Right there. Beaver. Right there. Beaver. Here, Mr. Beaver. You son of a bitch. Anyways, so all this ice along here, some of it's pretty damn thick, like, look at that piece. That's not very thick, well, that one's a thick one, right there. But it's all really big, huge hunks of ice. And yesterday I was down here and the water was up to about, oh, wherever my hand is across there. But finally, the whole ice pack's gone out. And it was pretty neat to see. Um, I got some video, like I said, of it. Um, I'll show you the guys that at a later date and time. But it was really neat to see. And all the people from around here, they come and they come and stop to check it out, eh? And, and watch it, because I guess it's a big event when the Ice River lets go, so. Friggin' right, you can hear ice cracking and banging and stuff. and Pretty cool. So a few more days, I'm heading home. Should be back in town the 11th. About midnight I'll get home because my plane lands in Toronto at 10. So I'm not too sure who's coming to get me. If anybody is. Probably my old man will come pick me up. Maybe I can get Pug 1 to come get me. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show you this. It's quite a beautiful river. The weather up here has been just absolutely awesome since I've been up here. I really like it up here. There is a ton of work available, like you go work in the diamond mines, or if I want I could go work at home hardware here in town or something. There's tons of work available, so work's not really high on my priority right now. I just wanted to mainly come up and check out the surroundings and whatnot, and I still don't know if I'm going to move up here permanently or not, because, you know, this and that's and other things, and I don't know if things are going to work out between me and her or whatever. But a bunch of you, you know, well not a bunch of you, there's always a handful of goofs, right? I'm sure if you go look through the comments, you can find them. Anyways, enough of that, don't feed the trolls. Look at this beautiful scenery. Absolutely beautiful. I haven't seen any mooses or caribous or, or, uh, um, whatchamacallums. Uh, bears or nothing like that. Yeah, apparently there's lynx up here too. Uh, a little bit further north, though, I was told. But, yeah, it's been a really nice trip. Uh, I can't thank Trevor, T-Bear, enough and his family for giving me a place to stay for the last couple weeks. And uh, hopefully I can get the train 
Dwayne the Train on tape. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to be staying with him the last couple days because Trev's got to take off to Edmonton on the 9th or Wednesday or whatever the fuck it is. So, yeah. Anyways, just thought I'd share this nice view with you guys and see what you thought. Absolutely beautiful up here. Absolutely beautiful. Peace out, boys. Grape flavored cigars. Frig yeah. They got no filter on them either, so you can really chooch. I'll be bringing some of these home for Bam. Frig yeah. A little chooch of the north. A little chooch of the north. Prime times. Ten cigars. Eight bucks. Right in the butt. A couple of you there have been asking me to check out, uh, look for a guy by the name of Andrew up here on the Hay River in a little cabin, the wild north. Um... I'll see if I can put a link down below, but that is in the works. We are going to go find that guy in the next couple days here before Trev has to take off. T-Bear's got to go. His son's got a, a hockey tournament down uh, oh, down south of here and this and that's and some different things. But it is on the agenda, boys, to go to go meet Andrew. I have watched some of his videos, and he seems like quite the character, and uh, I look forward to meeting him. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Another short video. I do beg my part. I do apologize, but it is what it is. So, until next time, Hawkalugi one out.